How to stay safe from the COVID-19 virus. Hey there, people. We're coming to you in the middle of a crisis all around the world in 2020. And first of all, we wish all of you to be safe and sound and protected from the COVID-19 novel coronavirus pandemic. Now, this segment is for the benefit of all the people around the world as we teach you what to do and what not to do during this pandemic period and answer several important questions. Do not hesitate to share among your friends and loved ones to spread the message. We'll start this by reminding you the most basic and must practices that should be carried out by all of you. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds with soap and water every two hours. Avoid large crowds, crowded public places, and maintain at least six feet of distance between yourself and others, especially if they're coughing and sneezing. Avoid touching your face and your eyes, nose, and mouth with unwashed hands. If you are coughing, cover your mouth and dispose of the tissues after you've used them just one time. But if you don't have a tissue, make sure you cough or sneeze covering your mouth and nose with your elbow. In some countries, it's advised to wear medical masks. And in some countries, it's not advised. We would promote you to follow the medical advices given by your government as much as possible. One of the first questions you might think of would be what to eat and drink during your day-to-day -day work to make yourself healthy and protected against the virus. Drink at least two liters or eight cups of water throughout the day to maintain hydrated. Along with that, you can add other soft fluids, such as unsweetened beverages like king coconut water, coriander water, or light plain tea. Every day, make sure you take a minimum of three main meals without skipping any meals. Include vitamin C rich foods such as guava, papaya, raw drumstick leaves, raw carrot leaves, oranges, and also include zinc rich foods such as eggs with the yolk, pulses, shellfish, legumes, chickpeas, lentils, and beans. Minimize fried food and sweetened beverages and snack food intake within the sensitive period because they can gradually reduce our immunity. And especially, we would like to encourage all of you people to stay away from consuming alcohol and smoking because that's the easiest way the virus can attack our body when it's weakened by alcohol and when our lugs are damaged by smoking. You should practice a minimum of 20 seconds of proper hand washing before preparing any kind of food and before consuming any food as well. Make sure you consume home-cooked warm meals as much as possible and get good enough rest of six to eight hours of sleep daily. So let's answer some popular questions going around regarding COVID-19. Number one, is drinking warm, clean water enough to keep safe from the virus? Drinking a good amount of water will always help you to maintain a healthy body but only drinking clean and warm water will not prevent the COVID-19 virus infection. If you do have a cold, fever, cough, or breathing difficulties, please seek advice from a doctor as soon as possible and let them know whether you've traveled abroad in the recent past. Please keep in mind to inform your doctor before you go to them and let them have enough time to prepare. Number two, can the virus be killed by bathing in hot water? Our normal body temperature is around 36 degrees Celsius or 98 degrees Fahrenheit. This value doesn't change according to the temperature of the water that you're bathing in. If you bathe in extremely hot water, it could even burn your skin. So bathing in hot water does not affect the virus. But what you can do is clean your hands as much as you can. Once you clean your hands, you can get rid of the virus germs on your hands and it can prevent you from getting the virus infections once you touch your face, mouth, or nose with your hands. Number three, can the new coronavirus spread in both cold and warm conditions? According to the latest findings published by the WHO, the World Health Organization, the novel coronavirus can spread in both warm and cold temperature conditions. So no matter where you are, keep in mind to always practice the basic principles to stay safe. Number four, why do they tell elderly people are more vulnerable? People from any age group can get infected from COVID-19, but the elderly population along with people who are suffering from many other diseases like diabetes, heart diseases, asthma, immunosuppressive conditions are more likely to get the infection because their general immunity is lower than the rest of us. No matter where you are, 
how old you are, how safe you think you are, make sure you take that extra step to prevent the virus. Save yourself and your loved ones. Save your country and to help save the world. This message is brought to you exclusively from the Team Nutrition for Dummies for the betterment of the world.